Let's turn the volume up. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, we can turn it up there. That's fine. Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Nick White here, and I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do all of the leak code and hack rank problems, and I make videos with solutions. I got playlists on my page. I've done a ton of them so far. So we're doing one right now, and that is called Luck Balance. I've been doing this interview preparation kit. It's pretty good. Um, Gail Lockman of McDowell, cracking the coding interview author. She, I think, helped out on this a lot. So, um, Lena is preparing for an important. This is a weird problem, by the way. Um, Lena is important f in preparing for an important coding competition uh, that is preceded by a number of sequential preliminary contests. She believes that saving luck in saving luck and wants to check her theory. Each contest is described by two integers, L of I and T of I. L of I is the amount associated with each contest, amount of luck associated with each contest. If she wins, her luck decreases. So if she wins a contest, she loses it. Let me try and sum this up. We're going to be given, it's a lot of readings, uh, kind of. So we're given a 2D array of contests in K. So K is actually the amount of important contests that she can lose. So um, T of I in denotes the contest's importance rating. It is equal to one if the contest is important. It is zero if the contest is unimportant. So some contests are important, some are unimportant. We're given, an it, we're given, given a number K telling us how many important ones she can lose. So we have important ones and unimportant ones, and we're gonna loop through this array. And if it's important, we can lose a certain amount. So in this case, we can lose two. If we see important ones, we're going to decrement the amount that she can lose, obviously. Like if we see we're looping through, these are two important ones. We're going to lose both of them, right? Because we have two, lose both of them. And when we lose a contest, we gain luck. So when we lose right here, we're going to add five to our luck balance. When we lose here, we're going to add one to our luck balance. So we can lose up to two. And then if we saw more important contests, we would have to win them. So when we win, we decrement our luck balance. So that's pretty much it. The, let's just read it really quick a little bit more. Uh, the amount of luck associated with the contest, Lena wins her luck balance will decrease. So if she wins, it decreases. If she loses, it increases. We have the importance rating. So um, if Lena loses no more than K contest, what is the maximum luck? And we want the maximum luck, obviously. This value may be negative. Sure. Um, so in sh it starts at zero. Her luck starts at zero. So I'm just saying that, uh, if she loses all of her contests, five plus one plus four, yeah, these are examples, function description, complete the luck balance, should return an integer representing the maximum luck balance achievable. Um, K is the number of important contests she can lose. And then we have a 2d array. So this is the important part, uh, contest 2d array of integers contests, right? 2d array of integers that contains two integers representing the luck balance and the importance of the ith contest okay um so the the only let's look at the sample input so this is the 2d array of integers here so each row only contains two elements so at first i was like oh this is going to be like some o of n squared kind of deal it is technically but it's really it's only two elements so what we're going to do is we're first just going to have this lock balance thing, right? Because that's what we're finding. We're finding lock balance. We're setting it to zero. And then realistically, we're just going to loop through this 2D array. But as I said, guys, um, each row only has two elements. So we'll just grab the lock as contest of I of zero because that's the position it's going to be in. And then importance. Uh, is going to be contests i of one, right? That's how it's the data is structured. These are the importance values. It's either a one or a zero. One is important, zero is not. And then these are the luck values. So you just grab those and then you don't even need that second for loop. So it's not really that crazy of a, you know, n squared solution. Um, it's almost, it's basically just linear. Um, and then what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to obviously do calculations here. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is actually sort the values. So it's not sorted, but we're gonna wanna sort so that the luck value is in decreasing order. So let me show you what I mean by that. I, I already wrote this code, I'm just pasting it. It's a comparator thing. I've been using comparators lately. Gail 
Lockman McDowell stresses the importance of those and it is important. So it's like a sorting thing. I, you basically pass in the array that you want to sort and then you override it with a comparator. And then we can kind of use the comparator in Java to imp override this compare class and sort in different ways. It's basically comparator is used to sort things how we want to sort them. It's kind of like that Lambda thing in Python or whatever. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is here, let me just print, do some print statements for you, first of all. So we have this, um, I'll do some print statements now. So we'll print luck uh, with a space. And then we'll do that with importance too. So, um, sorry. And then these won't be strings. These will actually be the values. There we go. So let's just run this um, and I'll show you guys what's going on here. Here we go. So running it right now and you can just see the values of how we sorted it. Cause what we do is we override it. And when you multiply the compare method, this is the regular comparison. So we're comparing on the, um, we're comparing on the luck values and we're multiplying by negative one. S sorry, we have to be looping up to contest.length. We're looping, we're going to be, comp we're going to be multiplying by negative one. So let me just show you, I'll, I'll show you the effects of the compare method. Contest.length, what what's wrong here? Oh, sorry. I really messed that up, that for loop. There we go. So, Oh my gosh, guys, I'm really mess. I'm really not doing good with keeping a, pa a good pace here. I'm having all these bugs. I mean, I guess it's more reasonable to see. Okay, there we go. So see how the luck is in decreasing order now as we loop through. So 10, 8, 5, 5, 2, 1. That's going to be good because what we're going to want to do is we have the number of important contests we can lose and we're going to decrement it when we see and we want to maximize luck so we want to lose the ones with the most luck right so we're going to lose this one we're going to lose this one and get eight and five instead originally it was out of place so we would we need it sorted so that we can get the max luck so we're sorting it by decreasing luck and just so you guys know about the comparator methods you can watch the other videos and stuff and maybe look it up but multiplying by negative one this would we want to go in decreasing order so we can get the max luck but regularly it would be in increasing order when we sort but we're going to do obviously the override it we're going to multiply by negative one now we have decreasing order i just wanted to kind of show you guys the comparator method there make sure you understand that and um, now that we have it in decreasing order, all we have to do is these conditions. We have the number of important contests we can lose. So if importance is equal to one, that means that it's important and K is greater than zero. So we're still able to lose more important contests. We're gonna lose that important contest and we're gonna add the luck, the amount of luck for that contest to our luck balance. Um, and then else if, importance is equal to one and we're no longer able to lose so k would be zero we're no longer we can't lose any more important contests we actually have to decrement we that means the luck's getting taken away so we lose luck because we had to lose that and that that was in the description um and then the last condition is if it's equal to zero then you just add because you're automatic, you're able to lose anything that's not important. So it's if it's equal to zero, we just add the luck to it, and that is it. And then when we run, it should work first try, hopefully. Even though not really first try, because we did a, mil a ton of debugging during that whole thing. Hopefully you guys understood that. Let me try and go over it one more time here. Really just gotta. I mean, it was an easy problem. Just got to stress the, it's just kind of thinking about the sorting here. So we have an, ish, an initial luck balance. We have a 2D array of contests. If we lose an important contest, then we get, if we lose a contest, we get luck. If we win a contest, we lose luck. We have a number of important contests that we can lose. We, lo we sort the array so that we're decreasing in luck value so that we can get the maximum luck value. So as we loop through, the first values are going to be the ones with the best luck values. So we're going to check if the importance is one. If it is, we're going to decrement our va number of important 
contest we can lose until we get to zero and we're going to add to our luck balance so we're getting the maximum luck that we can get otherwise if it's we can't lose them anymore we have to lose our luck and if it's zero we just gain luck automatically anyway then we return the final luck balance at the end um it's not that hard maybe read through it a little more it's kind of hard to explain it's a weird question like i said at the beginning like losing it's just like a lot of weird terminology and stuff like a con the concept's weird i'm lo going i'm losing a contest and i'm getting luck like it's lucky to lose and then you just like weird but uh, let me know what you guys think let me know if you have a better solution the editorials don't have this in it so maybe this is actually a good video for you guys i just see that gail is always stressing this comparator thing and it's actually pretty useful now that i'm learning about it um yeah, if you look at the editorial, they don't have a Java solution, so maybe this will help some of you guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and check out all the other videos, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.